The damage is unimaginable. Um, if you know this place before now, you come to understand um, what I'm talking about. All these areas have, were filled with houses, people lived here. But since last year and now, a lot of people have been uh, displaced by this uh, ravaging flood. Hundreds of families, not only being displaced, even their, their house is swallowed uh, by this erosion. You know, all these places you see, used to be, there used to be houses on, this, on all these places, swallowed and still the thing is still threatening to swallow more houses and the entire community around the Elan town or nature community here. So that is why we are so worried about uh, the, the situation. This place as I'm standing here, this is a new primary school, primary and secondary school with residents. It has been cut off. My house fell down there. So even my house was the place we used to park something, but we've lost the house. Everybody here has packed out because of the erosion. <laughs> the day before yesterday, my, my, my church people came to sweep the church. We did not see the church anymore. erosion situation in Anambra State is man-made. It's we, I, I, we are the ones who are creating the erosion. Because we excavate soil at the wrong place, we build our houses at the wrong place, and God has created you know, uh, nature for us, you see. And uh, the, the places have been covered with vegetation and all of it. We distort all of it. At the moment we are constructing a diversion channel. Once the diversion channel is done, we can divert all the water across there and then only the, this area will be safe.